I recently did a poll asking you, the viewer, what you struggle with the most when it comes to TikTok. And the majority of you came back saying it monetizing your content on TikTok. Thankfully, you're in the right channel. And that's exactly what I talk about in majority on this channel, amongst other topics related to TikTok. Now, if you're in the creativity program beta and you are struggling in terms of content ideas, perhaps you're not finding any traction in your niche. You have tried different ideas when it comes to making your videos longer. You just can't quite seem to get the right ideas or I'm going to show you five different video ideas that are doing very well when it comes to TikTok. I'm going to explain why they are doing very well. I'm also going to explain what the opportunity is when it comes to you utilizing those video ideas. So if you do find value in this video, do drop me a big like. That would be much appreciated for the YouTube algorithm. So let's jump straight into this. So this is an account here that you could potentially use for inspiration. Um, as you can see, the account there is called Jamie's Bakes and they do mainly baking related content. I'm not going to play each video, um, but you guys get the idea. They essentially start with the result and then they walk you through the build process throughout the video. They don't need to talk. They don't need to make it over the top. Um, if I um, play this video, uh, I'm just going to play it for a little bit um, and I may have to remove the audio from the video so that there is no copyright issue. So I'm just going to play it for a few seconds for you, to, for you so you can get an idea. So this is a really good video example because these can easily go all the way up to one minute. As you can see, this one is already 36 seconds and they do similar style types of videos. Now, the good thing about this is even if you're not someone that does baking or cooking yourself, this doesn't have to be you. If you've got a family member that's regularly doing cooking or baking and they are well known for doing a good job of it and they generally have a good presentation and it's something that people that might be interested in learning about, it's definitely worth a look in my opinion. Also, if you've got any businesses in your area, if you've got maybe a few bakeries, if you've got some friends that do this maybe privately for private clients but don't have any sort of TikTok presence, this might be a good opportunity for you to film them and potentially put this content on their account, maybe put it on your account as well and tag their account so people can go over to them. But the thing is, you'll still be making revenue from the creativity program beta as long as you've got permission from that person and as long as you are sending them traffic. So really good opportunity there for you to study this niche, study accounts like this, see what they're doing well and potentially apply that to your own TikTok account. Another good example here, you've got this account named Lucy Callis. Again, I will link it in the description. So basically, she's talking about a spider problem that a lot of people tend to have here and basically what she does in order to spider proof her house. Now, the good thing about this is, um, again, I'm going to play the video briefly here, um, but I'm not going to play the audio from it as it may have music that may be copyrighted. What she does is she films herself spider proof in her house or she films herself doing the actual activity. I have any to hands, but apparently a teacher girl does the same job. I just put some on cotton wool buds and then I wiped them all. And she's narrating the whole thing in the background. So videos like this can easily go all the way up to one minute or even longer. You're talking in the background, but at the same time, you're not filming your face. You're filming yourself doing the thing that you're talking about. And generally, they tend to attract a lot of attention because people are interested in what you're doing in the background while they're also listening to what you're saying. So a good opportunity there for any hacks that you know about within your home, you know, quick way to maybe clean your desk, uh, a quick hack to fold your clothes, a quick hack to clean your sink, a quick hack to you know tidy up your garage or do something with your car or your computer, whatever it is that you're talking about, but you're doing that in the background while you're narrating the video. This can easily go over a minute because it's more of a tutorial. People want to see what the end result is going to be. 
that you're talking about they're not only listening to you they want to see what are you going to get to at the end of the video how is the thing that you're talking about going to end up looking again this potentially crosses over to maybe cooking territory um, and it may cross over to different niches as well but it's a really good opportunity for you to stretch your videos out and it's a good opportunity for you to play around with different niches if the one that you're in right now doesn't work Another good suggestion as well, I think, um, in my humble opinion, is make up videos, but not just talking about it, actually doing the thing. If you're someone that's within the makeup side of TikTok, it depends what you're into. But if you are someone that does a lot around makeup or that's familiar with makeup, um, there's an opportunity for you to make longer videos there as well. This particular video here um, is a lady who is doing this whatever it is she's doing here she's essentially doing some sort of treatment or makeup to this gentleman that you can see and you can see the runtime of this video goes all the way up to 1 minute 26 seconds so um and in there she's talking about a particular the different products that she uses as well now tiktok does say if it's a promotional video it might not necessarily qualify for the tiktok creativity program beta but i'm not sure how much of that would apply if you don't have an actual link to the video uh, or to the product that you're promoting in the video it may be that you are able to earn money via the beta doing this as well but again similar format to the one that i mentioned around um, taking care of a spider problem in your home you're doing the thing you're narrating it you're showing people what the result they're going to get and people will generally watch all the way up until the end to see what this thing that you're doing is going to look like so definitely one to consider again you don't have to do this for yourself you don't have to have those skills yourself it could be a family member that does this that you film it could be a neighbor it could be someone that owns a hair shop that you know and are close with or someone that does a lot of makeup that you know and are close with and you could just be filming what they're doing putting it on your tiktok and getting that person some leads so not only have you got an opportunity here to build up your profile but you've got an opportunity to potentially help someone else maybe little make a little bit of extra money doing that on the side as well on top of whatever it is you're earning via the tiktok creativity program beta so longer videos is there an opportunity definitely um, niche is there an opportunity absolutely and again one that's worth trying out and playing around with if you are struggling for ideas also coming across a lot of ai voice videos that are to do with mental health motivation on tiktok as well videos that have the potential scope of going over one minute definitely worth exploring these guys so you've got on here essentially again for copyright reasons i'm not going to play the entire thing to you there's music in the video as well however um, the, you can see the name of the account i'm going to link it in the description as well and you can definitely go and check it out and what's happening in this video you've got an ai voice that's talking uh, do with the theme of the channel which is mental health and motivation you've got a video that's playing in the background and you've obviously got the music that's within tiktok so essentially all you need is just the ai voice you can use tools like 11 labs to do that um, you've got the video in the background you can use Paxils for free background videos to do that and of course music you just use the in-house tiktok native music this person is also linked a series in there as you can see the series is called mastering video creation using ai not necessarily sure if in that instance that would qualify for the beta because they are clearly promoting a product on there however you don't have to promote a series on there you could literally just be doing motivation and mental health related videos if you're someone that is skilled or someone that has got some knowledge of how to enter that space um, or just a similar um, sort of motivation style video on you know fitness or you know beauty and self-care and you know whatever it is that you'll be able to get into but more importantly these videos this one here has a run time of 28 seconds and that could easily go all the way up to one minute if not longer if people are interested in the message that you're putting out um, i've seen a lot of these videos recently come up on my for you page so clearly it's something that tiktok is promoting as well again you can do a lot with this this person has not done much you can also put in tools like mid journey create your own images you can also use studio did make that image talk you know leonardo ai there's potentially a lot you can do there's the in video tool which actually creates the video for you um as well with just one prompt so a lot of opportunity there for you to jump into this space without having to do a lot of work and have a lot of content that you can put in 
for the TikTok creativity program beta. So one that's definitely worth looking into. Another one that's definitely worth considering is these types of videos right here. So these are real estate agent videos where they show entire houses that are for sale as they normally do, except it's on TikTok. Uh, as you can see, the engagement is great. It's 42 seconds long. So there is plenty of opportunity for this type of video to go over a minute. Now, in terms of you, you might not be a real estate agent. I get that. Don't worry, I've got you. Um, so even if you're not a real estate agent, what real estate agents are within your area? Have they got any TikTok accounts? So you could put in the work to find this out. If they do, how engaged are they? Because most most likely they won't have time to properly run those TikTok accounts. So you've got two opportunities here. Not only have you got an opportunity to showcase houses that are being sold on behalf of those real estate agents and earn a bit of extra money doing that but you've got an opportunity to also earn a little bit from the creativity program beta yes it's a little bit risky because technically you're promoting houses on there but also you're not linking anything on the video there's no direct link or there's no barcode there's nothing on there to take you directly to where that house is so technically an argument could be made that you could still make a little bit of money from the creativity program beta as well so not only um, would the videos be uploaded on that real estate agent's accounts, but you could create another account that you run where you also upload the same real estate agent properties as well, potentially under a different name, but ultimately sending the traffic back to them. So they're paying you for leads. They're paying you for potentially running their account as well. Then um, you're also getting paid for the creativity program beta. In fact, in this instance, you might not even be worried about the creativity program beta because they're potentially paying you for those other services as well. And again, not just for real estate agents. Think of other businesses within your area that might benefit from a similar style of video as well. If you've got a hairdresser that's within your area, have they got a TikTok account? If no, could you film them doing some of the work that they do and put it up, put it up on here? Because if you do, that's got scope to potentially become a longer video. And if it's a longer video, not only are you making money, they're making money as well because they're being seen and potentially getting more leads and more clients. It could be someone that cuts grass in your area. It could be someone that washes cars in your area. It could be someone that has a woodworking business in your area. It could be someone that creates any type of thing in your area, a car repair shop in your area that doesn't have a TikTok presence so you've got an opportunity to not only think about yourself and your creativity program based on earnings but to potentially create your own little side business on the side here as well so having seen these different video ideas you might be thinking to yourself okay that's all good but I know about the creativity program beta. I'm interested in knowing what else is available to monetize on TikTok. What other options are there? The video that's on the screen covers exactly that and go through 12 different monetization options that come natively with TikTok. I'll see you in there.